So this is the program sheet for Peak Generalization Identifying Sarcasm 5H. And I was just gonna go over the materials we used for this program. You could obviously use anything um, to contrive some sort of either genuine comment or sarcastic comment or statement. Um, for this one, for our first train, Stimuli, we did sarcasm for This Fits Perfectly. We just had a small kid shirt that I pretended to put on, and I was like, oh, this fits perfectly. Obviously, that's sarcastic because it does not fit. Um, a genuine comment, I had a book that I really liked, um, so we just grabbed a book off our library shelf and used that. And then another sarcastic one was that I spent a lot of time on this drawing, and it's just a super basic, simple drawing that obviously I did not spend a lot of time on. Um, and then another genuine comment for this tastes yummy, um, I ate some popcorn that I really liked. Um, for test stimuli, I used the iPad for the first sarcastic one, cranked it up as loud as I could, and then commented, I'm not sure I can hear this. Um, again, those stimuli you're not going to be giving any feedback prompting or reinforcement on, but you're just testing to see if it's transferring. Um, number 17 for test stimuli for sarcasm, I just had an old bottle of perfume that I pretended to smell and was like, oh wow, this perfume smells lovely and kind of coughed and fanned my face. Um, the genuine comment, I love this show, I just hit Paw Patrol on the iPad and watched it and got super excited and smiled for it to show I was genuinely excited for it. And then I took a drink of my coffee, for instance, but I just took a drink and said that this was really refreshing and smiled and made the ah sound that most people would make after they have a drink that they enjoy. Um, so those are just kind of some examples of what you could use for the stimuli for identifying sarcasm. And then you can check out the demo to see how this program gets run.